Hi friends, today I'm going to make some faux tissue paper like Tim Holtz's. I love this stuff. I would use it all the time, but I don't like to overdo it because it's very obvious it's from Tim Holtz. I mean, I do, it is really lovely. But I'm going to make some of my own using this as inspiration. Now I'm just using some rice paper is very thin or calligraphy paper it's called you can buy it from Amazon I'll put a link down below in the description um, of where I get this from and I'm just basically I've got out a load of stamps I'm going to just do a load of stamping all over I might do some stenciling as well but on the other hand I might not so Tim Holtz has got a lot of text in here so I've got different text stamps I've got some new ones that Tracy gave me for Christmas I'm going to use that one and I've got some other stamps as well, like my number stamps, this per quarter stamp, which I found in a charity, uh, not a charity shop, uh, an antique shop, oddly. The uh, same, I bought my French one. And some other stamps that I hardly ever use. So I quite often buy them when they're on offer. So when I when I do buy stamps, I very rarely buy stamps. And I've got my stays on, my jet black stays on, in fact. Yeah, I'm just going to use black, so I'm just going to stick with the jet black for now. Uh, perhaps some flowers as well. So, I'm just going to start off with the text ones at first. This is a Tim Holtz one, it's lovely. Um, I'm wondering whether to use my stamp platform because not all of my stamps have got spongy backgrounds. So, I think I can do the edges with those. But I can't do the middle, so I'll have to figure that out. I'm going to put some scrap paper behind because the ink will go through the rice paper otherwise. And although my stamping platform is a little bit wrecked, <laughs> that pit isn't, so I'm going to keep it nice. Use my magnets to hold the paper down. This paper has a tendency to fly away a little bit if you're not careful. So, put those there. And I'm just going to do some stamping now. This has lost its stickiness. I wonder if re-wetting it will um, make it sticky. Let's try it. So, I'm just going to pop that there. I've got another jet black somewhere, so hopefully I can find that. So basically, I'm just going to do a lot of stamping. So I'm just going to speed up this bit and put some jaunty music on. <laughs> So now I've built up the text layers, I'm going to come in with the details. These are the bits that make it more interesting. If you look at the Tim Holtz one, he's got a lot, lot of text and on top he's got some other bits and pieces. So that's what I'm going to go for. Obviously this one is letter themed, mail themed, which is what attracted me to it actually, because I do love mail art. So um, I'm going to come in now with some of the detailed stamps. Very difficult. All right, let's get something up here. I think something nice would be there. Again, I'm going to speed up a little bit through this. And tell me, have you done this yourself? 
Ulrika did it for me once and I loved it and I've done it for other friends as well. Okay, so I'm gonna try another one of these stamps from Tracy. This is wonderful, I love it. So I'm gonna pop that there. Use a little bit of glue to hold it in place. I'm working upside down at the moment. Anyway, I'm going to speed up, put some jaunty music on as per usual. So here we are so far, I've just got the larger elements on. I'm gonna go on and stamp in the smaller things. I thought you might be wondering where these beautiful stamps have come from. These are from Cats L Craft. Tracy gave it to me, so it's called Anthromorph Rabbit. Here is their card. I love the card. So yes, I can recommend them. I really like these stamps. That's just in case someone's gonna say, oh, where did you get that stamp from? Because I know that's the sort of thing that I would say. <laughs> right, so let's put on some of the smaller elements now, just to fill in some of the gaps. And this could be fairly free form. And random. Love it. Doesn't matter how often you stamp, a stamp because it gets cut up and torn up anyway so you don't have to think in threes and fives and things like that I like this one this is new to me as well um, where's my so yes I'm going to speed up again This is an antique set of numbers I've got. They're all over the place, but they make great stamps. They're very elegant. I'll show you, this is number seven. I'm gonna pop that here. Oh, and what I'm gonna say is, it's nice to overlap where possible. Right, I love the number eight, and I love the number, I love them all actually. Let's have a number four, it always goes well. You'll see what I mean by how elegant they are. So lots of overlapping now. And if you notice on the Tim Holtz ones, that's what he does or did. What if he still makes them? That's looking great now. I'm so pleased with this. So I'm just going through it and filling up some of these spaces. So yes, if you're at antique shops, look out for this sort of thing because they are great. Add a bit of quirkiness to your art. You can also make handmade stamps as well. Right, what else have I got here? I've got these. Um, I sometimes buy these from sellers on eBay. So I'm not quite sure what they are. I think they're little frames. That's nice. Let's use that one.
So here's the finished piece. Isn't that lovely? Now I can just tear bits off and use it as collage. I mean, I think of, I think, I think it's as good as, if not better than Tim Holtz is actually, <laughs> because it's my own. So have a go at this yourself. I think you'll enjoy it. Be great to use as collage. I could even turn it into an envelope. I can make pockets with it. Um, but generally, I think I'm going to tear it up. <laughs> oh, that's going to be the hard part. Or cut out pieces and using collage. That was great fun. I hope you have a go at this. If you do, let me know down below. If you've done it before, let me know. If you've got any hints and tips, share them with the co in the comments. If you're new here, please subscribe. I do things like this every week. Um, if my thank you to my regular subscribers, please press the like button. That'd be great. And if you'd like to help support the channel, I've got a Patreon, and the link is down below. It's very economical. You can join for as little as two pounds a month, and you can stay as long or as short as you like. There's lots of free downloads in there, and I do love to have people to come along and have a chatter. So, thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye.